Hello everyone, welcome back to Blackjack. You may notice this is my um, first reaction video in a little bit, and I've missed some stuff. Um, if you haven't been keeping up with my regular update videos, it's because I had my wisdom teeth out and I'm in a lot of pain. But, um, you know, <sighs> some things you gotta just fight through it, right? So let's get started. Welcome, trainers. Thanks for joining us today for yeah, a hell is that the voice? upcoming game, Pokemon Legends Arceus, releasing January 28th exclusively on the Nintendo Switch system. Yeah. Today, we wanted to give you a first look at some new gameplay. So let's begin. we got less than a month left. We still don't have some finalized game footage. In an age long ago when it was rare for people in Pokemon to live in close harmony. In you know, time, I swear I could do this Isui will come narration to be called in these the videos. Region. Mount Coronet rises from the center Coronet. of the Kisui region, Instead of surrounded Coronet. on all sides by areas with distinct Because I swear it's been emphasized with Each the Each area is rich before. in natural features and plays host <laughs> to different Pokemon ecosystems. Well, One yeah. such area is the Obsidian Fieldlands, which you can see the trainer exploring here. The area that doesn't look much like Pokemon exploring, that looks like a plodding walk. Each area in Hisui has loads to discover. And you should make sure to collect a variety of different raw materials as you explore. Yeah, I always These do. materials can be used to craft many items that will help you on your journey, including healing God, you items, seen me playing lures, Skyrim. It was smoke bombs, I a mysterious invention called a Pokeball, kept and upping more. my uh, the Pokemon carry team can help capacity. You collect these materials too. Like more than anything else. useful resources across the region just by breaking rocks, oh, cool. picking up plants growing in the wild grass, defeating or catching Pokemon, <laughs> or knocking items. Ball of mud. Trees. Here's mud in your eye. Here we see the trainer using some of the materials they have collected to craft items. So they're still called trainers the even then, huh? Alright. All kinds of Pokemon will appear depending on the time of the day and the weather condition. Different species of Pokemon this guy is so also unenthusiastic. have My goodness. Some may ignore you as you approach, like this Bidoof. Some species, <laughs> like Starly, are skittish and will run away they, if they see they you approaching. They don't try to fly off, they just hop? There are even aggressive Pokemon that will attack you should they spot you in the wild. If an aggressive Pokemon spots you, or if you fail just to standing there, first menacingly. Attack, there we go. The Pokemon will enter an alert state. In this state, all Pokeballs you throw will simply be deflected by the Pokemon. In order to catch a Pokemon in this state, you must battle it. Cool. You can initiate a battle by throwing a Pokeball containing one of your own partner Pokemon near a wild Pokemon. Cool, cool. I was gonna say something about, like, if they're gonna say Pokemon so much during this, it's gonna stop sounding like a real word, but... I guess its status as a real word is dependent on how you view language. <laughs> you can use items to your advantage when catching wild Pokemon. For example, throwing a berry near a Pokemon will distract it. The Pokemon will then start eating. While eating, the Pokemon is much less aware of your presence, <laughs> allowing you to go in for a backstroke. Nice. Oh, there's a limit. Two out of two, it said. Veneri's like, I'm getting out of here. When encountering aggressive wild Pokemon, you have oh, to be careful. Oh, golly. These Pokemon will not think twice about attacking you. Ooh. If you take too much damage, you will black out and lose some of the items you That doesn't look like blacking out, though. You couldn't at least show them falling to the ground? As part of the Survey Corps, you are on a mission to catalog and research all the different Pokemon that live in the harsh environments of Hisui. Cool. Not only will you need to catch many types of Pokemon on your mission, but you will also need to observe them using certain moves or displaying certain behaviors. Cool. When you are finished in the field, you can visit snap Professor influence then, huh? to hand in your survey report. This will update your Pokedex, as well as increase your rank in the Survey Corps. You will also receive funds from the professor, which you can use to buy items and materials to help you with your research. All right. The vastness of the Hisui region is daunting to explore on foot. Luckily, 
Throughout your adventure, you will encounter a number of special Pokemon that will help you get to where you cool, need cool. to go with grace and speed. Weirdeer well, helps you with navigate speed. on land faster. <laughs> Kisui and Braviary, on the other hand, allows you to soar through the skies. You could just switch off like that, huh? Basque Legion allows you to traverse the rivers and seas throughout the Hisui region. With these Pokemon Sand's by your side, reach. you will be able to explore the Hisui region to your heart's content. Ooh, you know, I wonder if we're going to see the um, Munchlax Rock. Jubilife Village is the center of operations for the Galaxy Expedition Team, a group made up of people who have come from Woo! different regions to study and live in the harsh region of Hisui. The Galaxy team includes various corps, such as the Medical Corps and the Security Corps, as well as the Survey Corps, which carries out research on There's how Pokemon There's something to investigate live. on that bridge. Life Go Village back! Will serve as the base for your surveying missions. After receiving a mission or a request, and preparing for your next excursion, you'll set out from the village to study one of the various areas of the Hisui region. Awesome, After awesome. you finish your survey work, you'll return once more to prepare for your next task. Along with the headquarters of the Galaxy Team and your own lodgings, Jubilife Village is also cool. Do we get to decorate our house? Different services, such as the clothier, the, the craftworks, and the trading post, where you can trade Pokemon with other players. We'd seen Antha before. Um, she's thought to be what's his face, uh, Darak. Is that his name? Darak's ancestor. You can receive a variety of different missions and requests what did from the inhabitants ears look of like? Requests Dorian are small of the security tasks card. that you do to help the residents Beauregard? of Beauregard? While missions will advance the You got a character the in this story. game named Beauregard? Once you receive a mission or request, it will be added to your arc phone. <laughs> Horseshoe planes, phone deer track heights, that place the that existence of both horses and deer. Mark locations on the map like and track actually your called missions horses and, and deer. requests. Missions and requests vary in their objectives. <laughs> Beauregard. Some examples of these objectives include discovering a specific Pokemon, finding a variety of different items, defeating powerful Pokemon in battle, or catching a number of one specific Pokemon for research. I like Please the enjoy movement this clip in his hair. Of a trainer completing a request. <laughs> That is some prime Pokemon Ranger-esque bullshit right there. I love it. Are we going to have to accompany a suspicious old man through the woods? Are we going to have to find the missing toenail clippers? Just been standing here looking in this shop window the whole time. Ooh, I can hardly sleep. I'm just gonna put that out there. It's so friendly! You're giving away the plot! <laughs> Felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Okay, that that is that is a very odd comparison to make. Very odd. You can initiate a Pokemon battle by throwing one of your partner's Pokeballs at or near a wild Pokemon. If a wild Pokemon does not see you approaching, and you strike like them kind with of one of your partner's Pokeballs, behind your Pokemon this will catch them unaware the and may grant you an extra chance to attack in battle. Hmm. Goodness. I'm I'm really sorry. I am. I'm wiped. Battles are turn-based, and you can get yeah. your Pokemon to attack in two unique styles. Yep, yep. They talked about Agile and... Strong style? Uh, yeah, Strong. Yeah. There's the other one. Or Agile style. Using uh, a move in the Agile style raises the user's action speed which may make the user's next turn come sooner at the expense of reducing the move's power. Strong style moves can allow you to attack with more power, but using them may delay your Pokemon's next turn. If an enemy can withstand yeah. one of your strong style moves, prepare to be attacked. Yeah, I played Radiant Historia. I know how it works. 
Using agile style moves <laughs> and strong style moves in battle causes your Pokemon's attacks to use more PP. So be careful when planning your battles. A good strategy is the key to victory. While surveying the wild, you may come across a Pokemon that appears different to the others of the same species. These are known as Alpha Pokemon. Interesting. And are much larger I wonder if, that, and if we're going to get Shinies. Be careful when approaching them if you are not prepared. They are very aggressive and will take a powerful team and strategy to take down. Neat. Here, the player uses Agile Style Thunder Wave to I hear that music. Their opponent, that sounds good. Delaying their turns and making them easier to catch. While also changing <laughs> move priorities. The model is flat on. A surface that's like going this, down, to so alpha Pokemon. one of the flippers is just kind of hanging out Catching alpha Pokemon here. is a challenge, but if you manage it, they will be a very powerful ally in your adventure. If not, though, you'll just look stupid. Awesome, awesome, awesome. By visiting the Clothier, you can customize your character with a variety of different <sighs> clothing items. As you and you can get the, the game, you, you can get what's essentially Cyrus's outfit at Make one sure point. To make a style that speaks to you. Here is a quick look. I wonder why the kimono is only the shirt option. Trainers can wear. Of course, it looks like you can get it for full body. You can also customize your trainer's hairstyle, hair color, and eyebrow color at the hairdresser. The Hisui region can be dangerous, but that doesn't mean you can't look your best. <laughs> During your adventure, you will have to face off against special Pokemon called Noble Pokemon. Mm -hmm. A strange phenomenon is causing the nobles to become frenzied, making them rampage. We, we, we've seen this shot before. As part of the Survey Corps, you will be recruited to calm these frenzied nobles. Golly, I'm so sorry. Simply defeating them in battle will not calm them. You will have All to quell right. their frenzy by throwing bombs made using these noble Pokemon's favorite foods. Okay. It can be difficult to hit a rampaging noble. So with this is bombs, just this. This seems to be taking heavy attacking. inspiration from Ranger. The moment you see an opportunity, hit them with as many bombs as you can. Just like throwing a Pokeball, you need to aim carefully. Back, 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 back. And if you take too much damage, you will black out and need to attempt the battle again. Yep. Balance throwing your bombs with dodging attacks to calm the noble Pokemon. It actually really hurts the yawn. At some point during the mm. fight, the noble Pokemon may let down its guard. This may? Is the time <laughs> what happens if it Pokemon doesn't? Attack. This wasn't in the manual. These battles are tough. And planning ahead is essential. So it's level 18, so I'm assuming this down. is the first one we do. But there's just something about seeing Psyduck with the heading strong style over it, you know? <sighs> Ow. It's like really, really getting into that right there. We hope you enjoyed the sneak peek of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Kabow, 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 kabow. You in the Says we have infinite amount of them. We cannot wait for you to get your hands on the game after it releases on January 28th, exclusively on Nintendo Switch. Oh, that was we the will whole see thing. You very soon. In the huh. series. Bye. I don't know, was any of that really worth a whole 13 plus minute video? Yeah, 1322. Or 1327, sorry, looking at the wrong one. Uh, yeah, that didn't really seem to be worth that kind of video, but I, I, I guess more power to them. You know what, I'm going to start this up, but I'm going to leave it in, uh, in there for right now and I'll do a separate video for that. So, um, I know people keep ragging on the graphics, but they honestly look good to me. They look dated. Okay, they look like something from the PlayStation 2. But that does not mean they look bad. Alright? Like, Final Fantasy X was on the PlayStation 2. Alright? That's, 
Actually, another game I've seen this get compared to because of the battle style. <sighs> oh, okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't think an entire video on this was really worth it. I was expecting some lore. Lore is primarily what I'm looking forward to with this game, you understand. Um, not just, you know, my obvious, obvious bias over here in the corner, but um, just Sinnoh region is so cool, you know? <laughs> Sinnoh's just a really, really great region, and I really want to find out more. <sighs> Ow. <sighs> more about its history and all that, you know? Well, I want to get into Badoof's big stand, so I will talk with you later. Until next time, which is going to be in like 30 seconds from me, I'm Blackjack Abiati, and you should be so lucky.